Hello, everybody, and welcome back to MJ Games. I'm Michael, and welcome to another Console Edition Park Tour. As today, we are looking at No Time for Sleep, or abbreviated to NTFS, and it is created by OB1, like the letters OB1, Can You Be? <laughs> so, pretty great name. Um, as the description says, welcome to NTFS, first park on the PS4. This is my first completed park. Oswald Eugene did not give me the chance to complete it 100%, sadly. Victor the Fox, the mascot of the park, shows you around to three different themed areas. Hope you enjoy my first park and have a very unique experience here. Now, this was recommended to me by a subscriber, as this is his park that he created and I'm really impressed with it as you'll see as we go around for a first time park or first full completed park because my first full completed park was uh, not the best to say the least. Um, so as we go through this tour I'm going to kind of give some of my thoughts and feedback as well but this is a very, um, it's got a couple of very extreme coasters in the park as you're seeing some, some footage a little bit. But let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Here we are at the entrance of NTFS. And I love that fox, as I believe that fox is supposed to be our tour guide around the three areas. And this controller is kind of messing up a little bit, so I'm charging the other one. We'll see if if I we have any major issues with it. But I like the walkway. I like how we've got like a cop car right here. It's kind of like it's like providing protection. So now, if we walk over here to the Hall of Fame, so used builds. Okay, so that's cool. So it actually you gave credit to what you used. Um, street lamp, NH99, Gecky Squad building scenery, TJ Puss water objects. Um, lobsters for mix 17, then clary bread for the coral inspiration, Fantasia Land, Aquarium, Wallaby Park, <laughs> like extreme. Oh, thanks, man. MJ Games, I'm Matty. Yeah, this is a subscriber who re um, was messaging me and let me know that they had the park completed. So, Victor the Fox, love the name. Uh, mascot lives in Volgus. I don't know where that is. Um, he liked extreme medieval based. No time for sleep. Three themed areas. <laughs> 75 out of 100 on realism. Extreme coasters. <laughs> NTFS2. Theme ideas. Improved builds. Extreme coasters. All right. So for the second park, wanting some ideas, which, <clears throat> excuse me, still got a little bit of cough for some reason. I like the entrance here. I like the kind of. The coloring is different for what you normally see from using these building pieces, but I like it. It's nice and grand. Maybe what I'd say is when you walk through the entryway here, covering up the sides instead of having all this blank space right here. Um, and I believe you said this was your first full park. So, I mean, this, you know, that's part of what comes with the territories. The more you build, the more you learn tricks and stuff like that. And once again, everybody's got to have a chero swing in their park. The park's not complete without a chair swing, and I love that view right there of that first drop on that um, on that uh, invert coaster right there. Really, really cool. So there's Victor the Fox. <coughs> Victor's prison. What Victor's in prison? Lost China. Oh, you got the name of what's the the I guess the rides in here. So Sky Temple, the Rolling River. Okay, Stingray, Deep Underwater. Then Volgus Town. Okay, I guess that's a made-up town for the for the park. So we got the Oswald Eugene counter in the frontier. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So said so there are parts of this he wasn't quite able to complete due to the counter. Now there is a cheat you can use, and I've made a couple tutorials on that. Um, here's another example where I'd say just kind of covering up the the stall with some kind of building piece. Um, you know, the same thing over here. That would just be my suggestion. But I do like the the color you've used along with the building piece. Also, maybe doing something a little bit more decorative on this back portion right there. So, like you said, just... It comes with time. <coughs> so, let's go Lost China first. Because that invert is... Looks awesome. 
And we'll look at an overhead view kind of once we get done with each area. We'll look at overhead view section of it after we get done with the coaster. So we'll look at the whole area and flip cam and then take a ride on the coaster. So first off, we've got that Sky Temple, which is just really beautiful. But the only negative about it is it's only themed to that. So that's like one thing I would like to see changed is can you make... In Planko 2, can you have about three or four themes for different flat rides to where you can select the theming you want on that flat ride? Like the pirate ship. What if you want a swinging ship ride in your park, but you want it to be themed around adventure themed instead of pirate themed, right? Or something, I don't know. Um, but right away, I love the views here of the invert. Kind of going over the path and stuff. Maybe only thing is make a little covering here since you've got the coaster actually going over the pass so that nothing falls out and hits a guest and stuff just for protection. Yeah, so I mean that's one thing I'd say for next time is with the detailing is detailing inside of buildings more um, as you've got you know your your shop's <coughs> facade exposed and you always want to cover that up. So that would just be my suggestion for that. And I'm going to try to not cough at all, so I apologize, guys. Um, so let's see. See, that time you've got it, you got mostly covered. You can just use more art shape. So that may be some of the stuff, too, where you said you kind of hit the counter and weren't able to build anymore. So we got to keep that in mind as well. Um, ooh, looks like we got a viewing platform over here. That's awesome. Oh, we got the little river rapids there as well. Oh, that's a flying coaster. That's not an invert coaster. Okay. Okay. Now, I am expecting these coasters to be extreme since that's what you said. So, do not disappoint. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, I like how there's like, it's almost like this place has got like three different levels to it. So, to me, this is well done. I love it. You know, maybe... As you can see up there, maybe shifting the rocks around because it kind of looks like it's repeated a little bit. Um, just change, like especially right down here, you've basically just moved them over. Um, so I like what you've done, just kind of shift them, rotate them and stuff like that so that no rocks that are side by side look the exact same, if that makes sense. But I do love this little area and gosh, this is cool. The coaster comes right by it. If we, let's see if we can get a, wait for the coaster to, there we go. <clears throat> Woo. All right, so this would be just another area with detailing. So I do like how there's a lot of visuals of the coaster kind of interacting with it. I think that's really cool. Gosh, where is this cue going? All right. There we go. All right, so let's also look at nighttime to see. Yeah, and also you gotta put lights. Um, what I would use, let me show you what I like that's not what I meant to do. But you know what? Since I hopped out of Plipcom mode already, we'll go ahead and look at the area before we hop on there. And then I can kind of show you what I like to do. But like I said, I like the I like the views in this spot. I like the elevation changes. I think you've done a good job with the terrain over there, with the foliage, the viewpoints of the coaster. Um, you know, there's just some work with some of the buildings in terms of the interior components of them that can be worked on. But look, man, if this is your first full park, this is like way better than my first couple parks my first four parks probably uh or three so like you've done a really good job with this overall and stuff um so let's go back down here i think it's well if i can find it all right here it is so what what i would say to do is 
Let me get out of that other camera mode. It's really tough when you're placing objects. So um, what I would do is let's turn this to nighttime. So if we go to create and you go to lights, I like using the area lights right here, the colorable area lights. But what I do is, and usually what I'll end up doing is I'll put stick to surface, not snap to position, that one. Yeah. So then now when it does that, now I've aligned it with the, with the building, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and here. And then I'm going to place it like that because what that does is that creates um, so that creates like a, well, actually, you know what, there's one other thing I need to show you first, because I can see how you have gaps up there. So what I'm going to do is, you see how light that is? That's almost a little bit too bright. So what I'm going to end up doing instead of that is I'm going to change this from a bright white to like a softer. I'll do something like this and then go over here. That's fine. Now you'll see why I'm leaving it a little bit like this. Um, yeah, so let's just do that for right now. So we can already see, oops, hold on. There we go, I need to, there we go. So we can already see it lights this place up pretty well. Now what I would do for the ceiling is you can take an actual ceiling piece or um, you know with this castle down here one thing you could do is you know we'll just do ceiling piece that'll make it easier um, you could do this goes your temple piece and what what you can actually do sorry I'm all over the place with my camera movements here let me get back down here so I haven't looked at your other stations to know if you know how to do this. I'm just assuming so. But if we go here to build on station, it then creates that grid, right? So now you can take your Gozier temple piece and place it like that. Then I'm going to split it from building and I'm going to raise it up here. Now I'm going to put it right about there. And the reason why I like doing it at that length is look at the lights now. Those essentially now look like recessed lighting. And so that's one reason why I really like kind of having it um, up in the wall like that a little bit or up in the ceiling because then it looks like it's true recessed lighting and you don't see the kind of ugliness of the rest of the part of the light, if that makes sense. So that's my suggestion for some lighting. You know, it's nothing too crazy. You could have even done another over here, but lights it up in a way that's not overly lit, if that makes sense. Or since this is more of like a castle type feel in this area, you could use some of the wall lights and stuff like that. So let's go back to daytime and we're just going to do a quick kind of um, look around here at the water ride because it looks like it's not really themed, which these are really tough to do. So I understand that. I mean, I did my first real river rapids for the first time on my latest park. So it's tough to theme. Yeah, I mean, when you're in these spaces, like, you just gotta, that's something to work on, too, is if you're, if you're gonna create a water ride and not theme it, my thought is it's better to not really create it at all, if that makes sense, and I hope that doesn't come across mean, because I'm not trying to make it that way at all, it's more just, those are ones that really, really have to be themed, um, so that's my belief and opinion on it, so now let's head over to the coaster in the area, So Long Fra, I guess is what it's called. Actually, you know what, for this, since it's a flying coaster, we're gonna ride it how it's meant to be ridden. So there's only one train. So you know what, let's hop out of this and let's look at the stats until the coaster gets back in the station. So looking at the results, G-forces, a little bit high for vertical G-forces, but all the stats are good. See, biggest drop, 134 feet. That's about right for that coaster type. Max speed, that's a fast coaster. Um, for a uh, flying coaster. So now this one, we're going to have to, we're going to have to ride like this because we're going to look down because with these coaster types, 
if anybody's been on a flying coaster, I mean, you, you're acting like you're flying. So we want to really give off that feeling or that visual of it instead of sitting in track view. So let's ride the coaster and I'll talk to you afterwards. So we're going to have to ride this in orbit as well because there are a couple of parts at the end that I have no idea what we were doing, but that's part of what makes it awesome and extreme. And I really like starting to ride flying coasters like that because it really gives you the, as I said, kind of the look and the feel that you're actually flying instead of just looking at it in track view and so forth. Um, so there's a nice kind of sidewinder or whatever that's called. Um, and then you got the... <laughs> The pretzel loop, which is, in my opinion, one of the most intense elements on any coaster. Well, that would be pretty cool right there, it looked like. And I, th I feel like a couple parts just need a little bit more smoothing, but I think overall the coaster was pretty smooth. Because you know, it's never perfectly smooth when you ride in seat view for the most part. It's usually the track view that gives you the most smooth kind of feel to it. But this is the part where I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> But yeah, so it's it's crazy how when you you look at that when you're not actually riding the coaster, how it didn't look as crazy in terms of with some of the elements. But from here to here, I was like, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> but as I said, that's awesome. Really enjoyed that. So let's hop back in flip cam mode. This again, good views of the Sky Temple. I think your foliage work was done really nice in this area. As I was saying, I like how you've put trees on top of trees there and stuff to really outline the edges of the park. And we'll look at the whole park as a whole at the end, but these are some crazy steep stairs. Look at them, they're floating. It's magic! <laughs> yeah, I would... That's something to work on in the future a little bit. Um, I mean, it looks crazy, <laughs> but I like how you kind of outlined the path there with the rocks and stuff. So I think that does look really good. Um, and look at that. My goodness. That might be the best area in the park, just from looking from afar. Like, wow. Sorry, this controller is... I uh, got to figure out why it's starting to... Um, do that sometimes we're just automatically kind of moves moves down the joystick messed up or something so we're heading to Volgus town I think is what this is called and it looks like we got a launched coaster there oh that looks awesome so it looks like you made a lot of custom inversions which is really really cool and really good to see especially for creators early on oh we got two coasters in this area huh we got ourselves a water coaster and this launch coaster now I like that this area feels very different like it feels like very off off in the forest and stuff and you got bathrooms over here which is nice um, you know maybe adding a little food stall or something here would be good as well to kind of give another reason for guests to walk over in this space but this coaster kind of outlining the area looks awesome We got the water coaster, we got the fox, forgot his name. So we got 
a Filgus and Vulgacity. Let's go to Filgus first. So it looks like you've got a staff building in here. Once again, like I'll, this is my last time I'll say this, but making sure you always cover up the stalls. Like even if you're doing something like this, like that's fine. You just got to make sure and um, make sure it's actually covered. So, you know, it's that's not perfect, but it's still better than there being nothing, right? Wait, is that sped up or? Holy smokes, that thing is booking it up that chain. Let's watch this thing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Not the most realistic, but pretty cool. Um, Alright, so let's head up this way. Da 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 da. So the only problem with plip cam mode is constantly running into people's heads. All right, so we've got this station covered, and now there's some stuff coming through the wall, so that's something, you know, as you improve more and more building, kind of learning how you can kind of get away with some of that. Also, as I showed you before, I think, I don't know if you've built on the station or not, but if not, there is that option to where you can build on that grid. So let's go ahead and look at these stats. I mean, stats look good. Now, stats look really good for for this coaster so let's go ahead and go for a ride and I will talk to you guys after I really like that water coaster for, especially for what it was, and then looking at some of the houses that are built up here on the hill. I think you, I think you've done a good job, especially, I mean, as you said, first full park. Like, there's a lot of really good positives in your builds here. Um, you know, we all have improvements. We all have areas we can get better. Like, I think maybe adding a little bit more to this part of the ride to kind of make it, make it seem like it has a little bit more of importance. Like, you've done a good job with foliage and different stuff, but maybe just adding some kind of theming or something um but hey i'm going to talk as i really struggle with theming so let's go to look at an overview of this area and i like how you've kind of built some of this stuff into the mountains and stuff i think that's kind of a cool look and it looks like you got a staff building there or something and then now let's go to the other coaster in the area So this is called Vulgacity. It's a launched vector. Looking at these stats, everything is all green. Great job, results, really good job. So let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster.
Now, that was an awesome coaster, and in my opinion, your best one in the park. So, at least so far that we've looked at. Now, the flying coaster has done really well, but I think the custom inversions on this one were nice. I think maybe the turnout on this one was maybe a little bit too snappy or quick, or maybe done the opposite way, if that makes sense. Um, uh, but yeah, it's uh, really cool. And I, like I said before, I like this area. I like this kind of top hat here. Really smooth coaster overall. Really impressed with that. So now, let's get back into flip cam one last time. Marlin. You are now named Plip. So now let's head this way to the most beautiful part of the park. At least from this view, which I'm sure is going to be no different once we get up there. And I think that was called the Underwater, maybe? Is that was called? Oh, so is this the coral? Okay, so that's probably stuff from Clary Bread. It's the kind of coral stuff. Uh, but look at the view of that drop. Wow, that is really, really awesome. So the deep underwater. Okay. So we got a staff room and stuff right there. So we got some steps. Okay. So I like how you have bubbles in a couple places, trying to make it feel like you're truly underwater. Plus, you're using the tropical rocks. Um, so let's see. I mean, this does look like you're underwater. <laughs> see, that's that's a good job right there with that restroom. You've got it blocked off. You've got everything in terms of the um, the facade of it. What just what it just it just blew out bubbles, 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 bubbles. <laughs> oh no, water. Never mind. <laughs> but we got the swinging ship right here. This area is done really, really nice. I was not expected to have this awesome underwater feel from um, from above, but I think you've done a good job of really, really giving it that uh, feeling. And the music. Hopefully, you can hear the music. Love the music. So now let's head to the last ride of the park and then we will discuss it and discuss the park overall. So we got Lobster Rampage. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Yeah, and so one thing I would work on too is with your cues. Like, you know, having a floating path like that isn't necessarily the most realistic, right? Um, so that's just something to work on. And, you know, you got to have fencing right here. You got to have it to where guests can't just fall off. Um, so I think you've taken a good shot at trying to do a lot of realism, but I think there's a lot of extra things that need to be added. But as I said, I mean, <laughs> my first park I made, and I thought, hey, this is pretty good. And I look back at it, and I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. So, really, really great stats. G-Force is a little bit high for verticals, but let's look at the overall results. Biggest drop, 203 feet, so it's technically a hyper coaster. There aren't many of these in the world, these hyper Gerslauers. And then five inversions, three airtime count. So let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster, and I will talk to you afterwards.
So that coaster was hands down your best coaster. And I think this is also your best area. There's so much going on well for you that you did really well in this part of the park. And in terms of the theming, you know, the only negative that I have is being more detailed with your pathing in there and adding some of that realism, like fences and stuff like that. Um, also making sure that you actually have your everything kind of connected. Like even here, you could just put a wall, um, you know, like where you've got this fencing stuff, like you could just take that piece. I'm, I'm just using this wall piece again, um, just because it's the easiest. Oh. I hate how that mode is tough to use with. No, let's not do that. So then what you would have to do right here is you'd have to then split that from. But then the issue is you've got it at kind of a diagonal. So then what I would do is turn this maybe this way a little bit, right? Um, and yeah, so I mean, just take some toying and tweaking with it. But the idea is then if you do this, you've got it all kind of covered. You know, in a way, I mean, it would obviously, I think the way that you've got this shaped in the building would have to change a little bit, but just trying to give a little bit of tips and hints for some other basic things. Um, as I said, I mean, this is your, this is the best area. I think the buildings are especially the exterior is awesome like look at that that is just that is beautiful is what that is really really well done um and then also you know adding in the kind of beachy kind of feel and theme to it is really good and as i said kind of from above like you can tell the trees are repeated but that's honestly okay because you couldn't really tell it too much when you're down on the what's that Okay, um, <laughs> when you're down in the path, and if you look at Google Maps in real life, it just looks like a just tons and tons of trees. But as I said, this is really well done. I think the three areas are really well defined, and you did a really good job with that. So, really excited with your next park. Um, you just want to see everything detailed a little bit more, like the especially the inside of buildings where you don't have awkward corners or ceiling pieces missing or anything like that. Um, so that'd be my thing. I've got some tutorials on my channel. If you need them for anything, I'm sure there's a lot of other, there's a lot of other great YouTubers out there who, um, play playing coaster of tutorials as well. Or, you know, we're always here for help. And if you ever just want to send a picture to me or Maddie or, um, Tommy CM or any of us, like we can always give our thoughts and opinions as well. So thank you so much for recommending this to me. And I really, really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed the overall theme in this fox seeing him around i thought that was nice like seeing the um oswald eugene counter or oswald eugene and the frontier owner <laughs> thought that was kind of funny um yeah thank you so much for watching the video and make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you guys think what was your favorite area your favorite coaster and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day